I walk in Ireland, um, people dancing in the streets in South Korea, so many different types of events around the world. So you could do anything. Um, in the United States, we have a 5K that we hold for the last two years where people go run for the frogs and raise money and awareness, which is nice. And like any uh, animal rights group, uh, environmental organization, we like to have a good old fashioned protest every now and then. And so when Say the Frogs, um, we were working on our campaign at the Sharp Park Golf Course and they were killing illegal frogs. Say the Frogs, day 2009, we had a nice, uh, actually 2010, we had a nice protest out front there. Uh, the City Hall of San Francisco raising awareness about this issue. And on Say the Frogs Day 2011, we had uh, a rally and a protest at the federal EPA building and uh, the White House in DC to raise awareness about atrazine, where we uh, also delivered many petition signatures, again, had nice photo booths right from the uh, White House, uh, raising awareness about this alarming uh, pesticide and the threats that it's having on not only amphibians, but people as well. And unfortunately, since these were delivered, we just got an email back from the federal EPA, or actually a letter from the EPA, stating that despite the 10,000 from us and 20,000 signatures from other groups and the hundreds of papers that say, scientific papers that say this pesticide is causing problems in the environment, it's affecting not only frogs, but rats and fish and can lead to cancer in mammals, um, that it's okay, it's all good. So the federal EPA thinks this pesticide is still okay. We still have a lot more work to do. There's a lot more frogs to be saved. And so that is where I say it is up to you to make a fuss to say this isn't right. These things, there's so many things going wrong with the environment, not just to help frogs, but to help people, other wildlife, to preserve the integrity of the ecosystem. And so there is so much power in one individual. Um, today, I, I like to talk about this because it's my 111th presentation today and in about two and a half years. And I've spoken to 7,000 people in five different countries around the world. I'm just some guy from California. But it's beautiful that you can, anyone can get up and talk about something so passionately. And I encourage you all to find that passion, but hopefully to benefit the environment, because we have a lot of work ahead of us. And so I encourage all of you to get involved. Please take an info card, and thank you guys so much for listening to my presentation. Yes, in the back. Did you say that Minnesota has 15 species of frogs? I think there's about 15 amphibian species. I'm probably off by a few, but I looked up today um, the, the, how many um, salamanders and amphibians. I think it's 15 total, but I could be wrong. Um, I, but it's close to that. It's not too many, but you have more salamanders than frogs. In yes. Are heavy metals a problem with amphibians? They can be, yes. Um, I don't know ex exact, like for example, like fracking is a big issue and just environmental pollution in general. Um, frogs, they like, some species are more hardier than others and they, uh, some really need clean water to survive in, but some can be in more polluted water. I'm kind of working up to our property up north. Okay. 30 years ago we had lots of frogs. Really? Gone, so, uh, I, I believe they're leopard frogs. Yes. Uh, is there something? Reason. They've been gone for some time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, um, a a common thing that I hear, unfortunately. And actually, um, when people frogs do breed seasonally, like they'll be there forever, and then one year, like where the frogs go? Well, it might have been a bad year, but when they're gone for like ten years, something happened. Like that's not natural. And so generally, there might have been a contamination of some sort, maybe some urban development or something in the water body. But normally, that is not a natural phenomenon. So especially if you have a large pond and a large ecosystem that can support them. Any other questions? Yes? Can you explain um, what a frog pond is? Yes. So a frog pond simply um, is basically an ecosystem that frogs would inhabit. So I, when we say a frog pond, we mean just a big pool of water that is suitable for frogs to live in. And so that's what it would basically be. So whether in your backyard or maybe just a natural pond, um, a pond is actually, uh, it does have some specific characteristics. Um, some dry out, some don't. But yeah, basically a nice size pool of water. Any other questions? Well, thank you guys very much. And please take a flyer on the way out. And I'll be out on the table if you want to get any froggy. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for watching today, kids.
has been the most interesting program on Froggies. Bye for now.